Jean-Marie Amphier, a French physicist that was born on January 20, 1775 to John Jacques Amphier and Jean Antoinette Amphier. His father was a prosperous businessman. He had two sisters. His father greatly admired the philosophy of Jean Jacques Rousseau, who believed that young boys should avoid formal schooling and pursue instead an education direct from nature. Thus, he did not send his son to school and instead let him educate himself with the help of the books in the library. As a child, Amphir was very curious and developed an insatiable thirst for knowledge. He became an voracious reader under the guidance of his father and read books on mathematics, history, travels, poetry, philosophy, and the natural sciences. Along with his interest in the sciences, he also became interested in the Catholic faith as his mother was a very devout woman. He was particularly fascinated by mathematics and began studying the subject seriously when he was 13. His father encouraged intellectual pursuits and obtained specialized books on the subject for him and arranged for him to get formal lessons in calculus from about the Burun. During this time, Andre also began studying physics. The French Revolution began on 1789 when Andre was 14. His father was called into public service by the new revolutionary government and made a justice of the peace in a small town near Lyon. His family suffered a tragedy when one of his sisters died in 1792. Another tragedy followed when Jacobin faction seized control of the revolutionary government in 1792 and guillotined his father in November 1793. Devastated by these terrible losses, Ampere abandoned his studies for a year. Ampere started working as a private tutor in Lyon in 1797. He proved to be an excellent teacher and students began flocking to him for guidance in no time. His success as a tutor brought him to the attention of the intellectuals in Lyon who were greatly impressed by the young man's knowledge. He found a regular job as a mathematics teacher in 1799. Within a few years, he was appointed as a professor of physics and chemistry at the École Centrale in 1802. During this time, he also researched mathematics and produced Considerations sur la théorie mathématique de Jou, Considerations of the Mathematical Theory of Games. He obtained a teaching position at the recently opened École Polytechnique in 1804. He was much successful in this position and was appointed a professor of mathematics at the school in 1809 despite his lack of formal qualifications, a position he would hold till 1828. Ampere was elected to the French Academy of Sciences in 1814. He also engaged in scientific and mathematical research alongside his academic career and taught subjects like philosophy and astronomy at the University of Paris in 1819 to 1820. He was elected to the prestigious chair in experimental physics at the College de France in 1824. In April 1820, Danish physicist Hans Christian Oersted discovered a link between electricity and magnetism, or electromagnetism. A few months later, Ampere's friend Francois Arago demonstrated Orsted's electromagnetic effect to the members of the French Academy in Paris. Ampere was fascinated by Orsted's electromagnetic discoveries and began working on them himself. After rigorous experiments, Ampere showed that two parallel wires carrying electric currents attract or repel each other 
depending on whether the currents flow in the same or opposite directions respectively. Gifted in both mathematics and physics, Ankur applied mathematics in generalizing physical laws from these experimental results and discovered the principle that came to be called Ampere's Law. His works provided a physical understanding of the electromagnetic relationship, theorizing the existence of the electrodynamic molecule that serve as the component element of both electricity and magnetism. After years of intensive research and experimentation, Ampere published memoir on the mathematical theory of electrodynamic phenomena, uniquely deduced from experience in 1827. The name of the new science, electrodynamics, was coined in this work which became known as its founding treatise. Some of his major works are, he formulated Ampere's law which states that the mutual action of two lengths of current carrying wire is proportional to the lengths and to the intensities of their currents. He is considered the first person to discover electromagnetism. One of his major contributions to classical electromagnetism was Ampere's circuital law, which relates the integrated magnetic field around a closed loop to the electric current passing through the loop. He is credited for the invention of the aesthetic needle, a vital component of the modern aesthetic galvanometer. Ampere died in the city of Marseilles on June 10, 1836 after contracting pneumonia.